Okay, Ngozi. Yes. Mr. President, thank you for the privilege mm -hmm. of having us here. Mm -hmm. um, still on corruption. Um, I hear it all the time that what we have now is just the tip of the iceberg. And so I'm just wondering because this is crime. And when you let it go so far, you know, the trail goes cold. So I'm just wondering whether we are not picking people, you know, one by one very carefully. Because this is Nigeria. You said it. If we don't kill corruption, it kills us. Is there a way to raise the level of outrage in Nigeria? It can be done. I don't know where the National Orientation Agency is today. To let Nigerians see the direct link between corruption and the state of their lives. For every corrupt big officer, there are secretaries who worked under him. There are bank, um, bank officers who worked with him. These people will happily and voluntarily give information, very solid information. What we have now, I agree also, is a tip of the iceberg. And sooner than later, the trails will go cold. And it becomes business as usual again. The other thing I would like to say is, there's EFCC and there's ICPC. I haven't seen any I don't know, maybe it's been happening, but we who are not in government do not know. But I haven't seen any turnaround in terms of philosophy or you carrying them along with your burning vision about anti-corruption. I see you like carrying on a crusade, like a lone voice, and they are a bit reluctant. That's my perception. and that's the perception of a lot of us out there. Is there no way to rejig these two places? Call it another name, bring new people, or train the old ones. I don't know what can happen, but I am saying that we can't have EFCC as it used to be, and fight the new battle with your new vision. Well, I, this is, this is um, uh, it's a nasty situation we find ourselves. Um, we have to be very sure of uh, the document we get. We have to cross-check uh, with the banks, sometimes uh, across the countries. Um, we have to cross-check records, for example, in NNPC, which ship loaded where what is the record of, uh, in terms of uh, the amount of crew it needs what is the destination what is the form of payment is there an agreement or just an order from the top um, all this you have to be sure but because when you go to the courts um, uh, those that are taken before the court uh, they are people of substance, and they used to be people of influence. And I assure you they will get the best lawyers to defend them, uh, because they can afford to pay. And uh, it is a work that we have done. When I say we, I mean the government for instance, like the EFCC, you mentioned the, the ICPC. Uh, it's the amount of work they have done may be supervised by the Attorney General to make sure that uh, uh, a thorough job has been done in terms of uh, submitting uh, foolproof documents that will earn uh, respectable prosecution. Uh, that has to be done because um, uh, what we have been doing as government, we cannot, uh, I'm sorry, it's a stage where we cannot reveal it. You can say, okay, from the time ICPC was put in place to now, how many people have they successfully prosecuted? Yes. How many people ICPC successfully prosecute? If you do that, maybe you didn't have even the patience to, to keep quiet, you just condemn them outright. But now we are being very thorough because we made the accusation Therefore, we have to prove in the court of law 
the zoo that are corrupt, we have enough documents, if possible, the amount of money, in which currency, even maybe the shipping line that uh, take in terms of NPC, and if it's a central bank under which the governor of central bank, when, whether he received order directly from the president, or whether he used his initiative between himself and some ministers and transfer a hundred millions of dollars or billions of naira. So um, I, I think by, by the end of, uh, of the first quarter of, of next year, uh, I think uh, you will be kept to be the informing Nigerians of what uh, progress has been made. Okay. My name. Yes. How far, Mr. President, are you willing to go in this fight? Is it right to the top, or are we stopping at, at the current time, the NSA and other former ministers? Well, uh, he has just quoted what I said when I was inaugurated that I am for everybody, I don't belong to anybody. I saw by the Holy Quran that I will defend the Constitution, and whatever belongs to Nigerians, uh, if anybody was appropriate such a thing, uh, will attempt to get the documents and will prosecute them. And it's up to them to prove themselves uh, innocent before the court. Uh, I told you I have experiences uh, when I just uh, mentioned the words, a decree is signed and people go. I knew eventually some of them got the property back, whether it is their own property or not. But the important thing was that uh, at that time, we didn't put anybody above the law. At this time around, I assure you, we are not going to put anybody above the law. And as you said, we are soon going to see more of these uh, corruption cases in court. You did mention stolen or rather crude oil money getting into accounts where it shouldn't go to. When are we going to see more of that? Because the crude oil is where the money is. Some people say, well, even the current one about the National Security Advisor's office is just a small matter in the big issue that all this corruption fight is going to be. Yeah, uh, that's the problem about the NNPC, is the, um, um, is the involvement of the international uh, institutions, financial, shipping lines, insurance companies, uh, it is true, it's the tip of the iceberg. Uh, some of these developed countries where the money are lodged, their financial institutions are born, involved, their banks, maybe their uh, custom and exercise. Uh, but they will work on paper. So, uh, so ship of this make, according to the insurance uh, papers filled in, has brought, say, half a million tons of, say, bony light or acquire even crude and, and so on. Uh, it's costing about, say, um, uh, $15 million. It went into a certain account rather than a federal government account. Then you have to ask for the cooperation of those countries to give you those shipping documents and maybe the bank account of the country where the money went before you can make your own prosecution in the country. You just have to do it that way. Because this was the system except, this was the system of the countries we are requiring their cooperation except. We can't do it on our own. It's not just like I told you the military regime, where we have tribunals in about the six geopolitical zones, and then we provide documents, and people were jailed. So it may take years. I suspect it will take years. Because we are appealing to the countries to please as their institution to cooperate with us because Nigeria was virtually, is virtually on its knees. Okay, up to you. Uh, Mr. President, when you were campaigning, you came out as a man of integrity, impeccable integrity as it were, and um, you said you were going to declare your asset, what you're worth, and then you did. But at best, uh, they were vague. Properties were mentioned and without specific uh, names or value and the people would have wanted to see a more transparent and clearer picture of what you are worth. Mr. President, when, uh, do you, when are you 
do you intend to um, make full declaration as it were based on your promise? Yes, when new people harassed me so much, I told you that uh, I have declared my asset four times. It started during the Murtala administration. When we were lined up on a corridor, from General Obasanjo downwards, all those who are governors, or who are members of the Supreme Ministry Council, who are members of the Executive Council. And uh, I don't know whether it's a blessing or what, I was in all the three at a time, differently. So I found myself at the end, there are um, um, official from Ministry of Justice with files. You make your declaration. And since then, somehow the declaration found itself in the Constitution of Nigeria.